the hardware of the first revision of the wearable EEG project is uh, made out of two boards. One is the EEG MCU board which is the MCU stack and the other is the ADC stack. So in the MCU board we have Raspberry Pi's RP2040 as the microcontroller, we have MPU6050 as the IMU and for BLE communication we have uh, an HM11. Uh, it has a USB-C port for communication with the RP2040 and for battery charging. Uh, it accepts uh, a 1S uh, lithium battery with a JST-ACH type uh, connector and it has all the necessary battery management, battery charging features and the necessary LDOs for uh, different voltage levels. It also has a push button controller so this button has to be pressed down for three seconds to switch the board on or off. Uh, if you turn it to the other side um, you're gonna find some more uh, battery management uh, ICs and power management ICs, uh, two DF40 connectors with uh, three millimeter uh, stacking height, uh, a level shifter which comes in handy if you are using the board at uh, 1.8 volts. Uh, then you have the flash memory for the RP2040. Uh, if you are going over to the ADC stack, you're going to find Texas Instruments uh, ADS1299, which is a very standard uh, ADC for EEG applications, uh, the reciprocal DF40 connectors for stacking, and as for the low pass filters, uh, we have gone with the cutoff frequency of uh, 1 kilohertz. On the bottom side, there's, there isn't much uh, except uh, three FPC connectors, uh, which can accept, um, which are designed to accept the EEG signals uh, from the scalp electrodes. All right, so uh, to stack these boards, we have to line up the uh, silk screen uh, on the proper direction, like this is the wrong direction. Now this is the proper direction of uh, stacking. So once we have determined the direction, we need to line up uh, the DF40 connectors. Uh, once they are lined up, I generally uh, press down uh, one side, I hear the click and then I go for the other side. So now the stack is complete and it is uh, electrically connected to one another. Um, now I'm gonna just show you a power on sequence. Before powering it on, I'm just going to connect the uh, JST connector of the battery on the board. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but okay. So this LED is um, the power LED and also the charging LED. When you're plugging in the USB-C uh, for charging, this green LED will turn into amber and once the charging is complete, it will again turn into green. Um, this button as I said is the power button so I'm gonna press and hold it for three seconds yeah now you can see that the board is powered on uh, this blinking green LED is uh, the RF activity LED of the HM11 and by default it is um, set to be in a blinking mode there are no firmwares uh, controlling it at the moment except uh, a very basic LED fade program uh, on the RP2040 which is fading in and out the red LED. On the bottom board uh, on the ADC stack we have another red LED to just indicate uh, proper power. And uh, similarly to switch the entire uh, board off I'm gonna press and hold this button for another three seconds. And now the board is switched off. So uh, that's um, a brief introduction and um, a validity of the hardware uh, for revision one of EEG, uh, sorry, wearable EEG project. All right, that's all from this video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.